Good morning, world. I am Judy, your web-based therapist, making therapy accessible and convenient for clients in Florida and New York, and of course, sharing information worldwide. Today, I wanted to take a moment and talk about five tips for getting back into your norm, getting back into life, your regular life after a loss, because it sometimes happens when after you've lost someone close and you're dealing with the grief, it can be difficult to get back into the swing of things. So that's what we're talking about today. But before I get into that, I want to take a quick moment and say, if you are subscribed, thank you so much for being a part of our awesome world. If you're not yet subscribed, please take a moment and click the subscribe button below so you can join all this awesomeness. And remember to tick the bell so you are notified when I post new videos so you don't miss anything. And of course, if you'd like to purchase one or three of my books, there's also a link below that will take you to a site that shows you all your different options of where you could get one or three of my books. Okay, let me get back to it. First, give yourself the time that you need. Because grief is not one of those things where there's a set time, you know, it takes two weeks or it takes three months. That's not how grief works. Grief takes whatever time it takes. And just because it took you a specific amount of time in this one occasion does not mean that this is what is going to take you now. Grief happens as it happens, and it's okay to give yourself the time and the space that you need to go through your grief journey and move forward in a healthy way so that you're moving, for, you're moving forward and able to continue making progress in your journey. Don't focus, don't worry about someone tell, or people telling you, hey, you need to get back in the saddle. No, you don't. It's, a, it's okay to give yourself that time. And don't feel that you have to go and do extra and be anything, any superman, superwoman, because people are expecting. People can have and always will have their own expectations, but their expectations don't usually take into account what you, what you need. And a lot of times the people that are offering advice on, hey, this is how you should do it. This is how I did it. They don't know what you lost. They don't know what you're going through. It doesn't matter if someone lost their mom and you just lost your mom. What your, your pain, your grief is not necessarily what they experience. So take your time, give yourself the time and space that you need to go through your journey. Two, ask for help. There are a lot of little things that will come, a lot of little situations that may present where you may need to ask for help. One time I remember someone asked me to walk into her house with her because she'd lost her husband and she had not been in the in their apartment and she didn't whoever was supposed to come with her did wasn't there and she asked me to walk in with her just so that she did not have to be there alone and those are the little things that you don't expect but actually can happen be open be ready when you feel that if you're when you're when you realize that hey i've been putting this off because i don't feel like doing it or be, or whatever excuses you're coming up with for not doing certain things, but it really is, you don't want to deal with it. You're not ready to deal with it. You don't feel that you can deal with it. The Sometimes you don't, you can't do it alone. So those little things, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask your friend to come to the county with you so that you can get this certificate or you can get whatever this paperwork done. Those whatever little things that even the smallest things and sometimes even the biggest things that you may need help with, ask. Have the people in your life that you can ask for help. They can say no. That's always an option. But just because one person says no, it does not mean everyone else is going to say no. So be open to asking for help when you need it. Three, grief is not linear. So give yourself some grace. You will find that the time will come where hey, I'm doing great, I'm moving forward, I'm doing good, I'm this, I'm that. And then something hits and there you are. It feels like you're right back where you started. That's how grief is. Yeah, we have the five stages of grief and it's like, hey, five little steps. That's not exact. Yes, you may go through all of these five, but it could be like one, five, third, one, five, three, two, four, six, or actually it's only five, so you can have six, but it's not linear. It goes in... Yeah, this is how it works. This is what grief looks like. This is the cycle. So give yourself some grace. When you find that you're making progress and you, and you notice that, okay, you seem to be falling back, that's okay. That's how it is. That those moments that will come where for a quick moment where you thought you felt like life was normal and then you remember that you had this major loss and it feels like you're, it's, you're crushed all over again, those happen. So Give yourself a break. Give yourself some grace. Allow yourself to experience 
the grief that you're experiencing in, yeah, that's it. Four, change, make changes to your routine to help you adapt to the change in your life. There are a lot of things that we do with the people in our lives that when they are not there may make things difficult. For example, maybe you and your spouse had a morning routine where you got, you got up, you read the paper together and had coffee and whatever else was in that routine. But now that they're not there, you're having difficulty um, going through that step, going through that step. So instead of you're skipping breakfast, which was an important meal for you, you're doing the, you're um, leaving the house or you're eating out, you're doing all sorts of different things to avoid the pain of the change of that moment. Make changes to your routine to help you adapt. So if you and your partner had a morning routine of we get up, we have, we have breakfast and we talk about this and then we um, go on about our day, how can you change that routine a little bit so that it feels less like what you had, but you're still able to do certain things? So maybe instead of going to the patio and having coffee and chatting, you get up and you do a, you read or you do a devotional or you do something before your breakfast, or maybe you have breakfast in a different location in the house. Just little changes to the routine that helps you adapt, that helps relieve some of the pressure or some of the in your faceness of the loss. And finally, take permission to venture on your own time. People will want you to start, hey, get back to life, get life, mo life goes on. But it does not necessarily mean that this time, the timing is right for you. Get back into your venture out as it works for you. It's okay to give yourself permission to go to an event and not stay. It's okay if you need to ask someone to, hey, come with me to this event that I would normally go to with my, per with whatever the person is that you lost. It's okay to venture out gradually. It's okay to take your time and venture out when it works for you. Just because it's been three months does not necessarily mean that you're ready to be out partying. Maybe you're able to go somewhere quieter. Maybe you're able to go somewhere for a few minutes. So allow, give yourself permission to venture out as it works for you and in your own time. Okay, quick recap. First, give yourself the time that you need. There's no real time frame for grief. It's whatever you need. Ask for help you when you need it because there are a lot of little things that will come up that you may want someone to be with you and you may want someone holding your hand while you do them. Grief is not linear. It's very messy. So give yourself some grace. If you start falling back, it's okay. Four, make changes to your routine to help you adapt to the changes in your life. Sometimes things are a little bit harder to do when the person that you used to do them with is not there, but some changes in your routine can help you adjust. And finally, take and give yourself permission to venture out in your own time. You don't have to go anywhere until you're ready. Just because you go somewhere doesn't mean that you want to stay the whole time. So venture out in your own time as it works for you. As always, if you or someone you know happens to be going through something that's more than you can handle, Please remember that there are professionals like myself who are available, able, and willing to help and are even providing remote services who can assist with whatever you may have going on. So please figure out who those people are in your community so that if you need them, you can reach out and get the help that you need. And that is all we have for today. Good morning, world. Have an awesome day.